All right, let's hope I can do this without shutting the camera off. All right. Just making a little video here. I just got, my parents just bought me a brand new uh, two-man fishing kayak. So I'm doing some fishing and I probably won't catch anything, but yeah. This video is called American Mail. You are not privileged. And uh, yeah, I'm talking to you, especially white American males. I'm trying to keep my voice down because someone's over there. by this little marina here. I, I usually fish from that. There's like a bridge. I don't know if you can see it over there. That's where I usually fish from, but now I'm fishing from the water. Let's see if it gives me an advantage. I could power bait, but I didn't bring power. Well, I have power bait, but it's swim bait. It's not, it's not like the little eggs. So anyway, oh, something just jumped. Or something, something jumped just right by the boat. I think. But anyway, yeah, you are not privileged. You are. Uh, I grew up um, not so much, you know. I mean, now they just straight out say, "Yeah, you're a priv privileged white male." Shut up. But you know, it was just more through example. You know, you were shown like uh, whites. You know, a bunch of movies of slavery, uh, slavery movies with whites just walking all over black people, treating them like shit, and you know. It's not really up till college where they really start actually telling you, yes, uh, you're a white male and you're going to be discriminated against in the, in the workforce. How do you feel about that? Write an essay. I had to write an essay on how I felt about the fact that, uh, you know, if you're a white male and you're talented, you might have to take a back seat because they hire based on ethnicity now to, to you know, get, just, you know, it's not even based on talent. It's just specifically to, like, you know, uh, bring... Uh, uh, bring people of you know other genders or uh, ethnicities into the workforce. You know what I mean. So, and that's why a lot of you know you want to you wonder why everything sucks now in America. Well, you know, we're not doing things based on merit. We're just we're just uh, kind of yeah. Where talent is taking a backseat. Uh, you know, intelligence is taking a backseat. Capabilities taking a backseat. So anyway, yeah. I, to make a long story short, uh, it, it, don't pull any punches in your life because your school is lying to you. You are not privileged. I thought I was a privileged white American born male and I paid, I didn't smoke, didn't drink till after high school, uh, uh, tried to be friendly, helpful. i I let a minority, uh, live at my house uh, my junior year and um, and uh, lo and behold he graduated and I flunked out of school and it did not count for me at all that I helped a minority did not you know there's nowhere to fill out on a, in, in school there's no nowhere nothing to fill out saying yeah I'm helping a minority so it goes on your record oh this kid helped a minority in high school he actually housed a kid that was living in the ghetto living on living on government sustenance or subsidi subsidization uh, in, a, in a fucking hellhole fucking ghetto, you know what I mean? That, that, it, now, so anyway, long story short, yeah, and, and not even just, you know, that, like even, you know, white kids, there were white kids that were just more popular than me that uh, I was helping write essays while, the, and because they could barely even write and they graduated and don't ever even talk to me again uh, anymore and, uh, and, and I flunked out of school. So while I was flunking, I was helping kids that could barely write essays do their homework and they graduated. Oop, Fourth of July, that was a big one. <laughs> so you are not privileged. So, and I thought the same, I thought fathers, fathers were all a joke and that, that's why there was so much fatherlessness. And you know what I mean? And so I figured right now, I figured by now, I, and you can look at my artwork, I can draw, you know, and I have no formal training. Everything I had to teach myself through books and learn how to draw stuff and reading comics. But um, yeah, I thought I was going to be a comic book. Uh, if, uh, you know, if I was privileged, if I'm so privileged, how come I'm not doing comic books right now? Huh? I have no criminal record. 
uh, you know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, it's, it's a joke is what it is. It's all a joke. It's a joke on you. You are not privileged. I, I pay support for two kids that have never met me. So I was against I was against deadbeat tads and I was for women's rights. And there's people right there, so I'm going to stop talking and stop this video. And I'll, maybe I'll do another part later.